explain a common mistake that people do while they're cutting, <laughs> besides overeating. And people do this a lot. In turn, they lose a lot of strength along the way. It is possible to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. I mean, you, you will eventually hit a point of diminishing returns. Um, but you will eventually hit a wall. And then at that point, you kind of just slow down, put your ego aside. So <clears throat> uh, I'll talk about that over the voiceover. What's up, guys? Fatty Mancy here, your personal online coach. And today what I'm gonna be talking with you about just very briefly is how I'm gonna be playing catch up. If you've watched the previous video or two, you'll know that you know I basically screwed up my diet <laughs> within a week and a half. Now I'm playing catch up and first thing, uh, although I don't recommend this, um, I kinda I have a deadline I need to meet and I'm already extremely behind so I gotta see how much weight I'm gonna lose this coming week cutting uh, my calories a little bit uh, faster than I would normally cut calories if ever if you're if you're dieting and you're uh, and you're losing weight at a certain number of calories there's no reason to change it at all I've had clients ask me like, some clients just coast throughout anywhere from like three months to six months and you know somewhere in that timeline they're asking so what what do we do here from the diet and the uh, the old adage goes is if it's not broke don't fix it so there's no reason to change your diet guys if it's working since I have a goal in mind I you know I got to speed it up I'm not going to uh, cut too many calories because then I'm gonna be cutting into a lot of muscle um, so I'm cutting calories that's one um, increasing activity so I'm not gonna be increasing my cardio I already do a decent amount of cardio but what I am gonna be doing is uh, I'll be including a lot more uh, supersets in between some exercises and uh, just kind of less rest time on the exercises I don't need you know for example you don't need a ton of rest time for uh, leg extensions or, or uh, calf raises biceps triceps for supersets uh, less rest time um, I go to a gym that I've been going to for an extremely long time. So it's tough to, it's really tough to uh, get in workouts in a decent amount of time without getting asked a ton of questions. Those are the two main things on how I'm gonna be uh, losing weight at a little bit faster of a, a rate. Also my TDEE is going up, which is, for those who don't know, it's your total daily energy expenditure. Basically it means how much energy you're burning throughout the day. Uh, so I've taken on a few new roles, kind of non, uh, a little bit non-fitness related from uh, from this channel, but I just thought I'd let you guys know because uh, it's important to know that what's going on with myself and uh, some challenges I might have. But I'm doing some volunteer coaching over at the YMCA for uh, for one of my nephews, so I'm doing that. That's not taking up too much time. It's one hour. It actually sucks. It's only one hour of practice one day a week so they don't let you develop the kids a lot if at all but so that's one thing i'm doing another thing i'm doing um, i've actually taken on the uh, athletic director position at that same school that my nephew's going to that's uh, definitely increasing my uh, daily energy expenditure um other than that guys that's that's it i just wanted to kind of uh, update you guys let you know how i'm gonna be doing this and uh who knows maybe next video we'll get a little uh, physique update all right guys I will uh, catch you on the next video okay guys so now that you've caught up with a little bit of me and my life and what's going on um, I did want to explain what I was talking about in the beginning of the video which is a common mistake that people do wall cutting is and what they tend to do is they'll just go extremely high reps and ton of sets and really really low weight and they think that that's going to be the end all answer to how to get ripped and how to make your muscles pop when in fact that's the exact opposite of what you want to do uh, as you're cutting losing weight what you want to do if you can and for as long as you can is uh, stick to heavy compound movements 
throw in your accessory exercises such as bicep curls, leg extension, etc. But you don't want to lower your volume uh, because that in turn, how can I say this well? If you've ever watched somebody getting ready for like a bodybuilding competition or a show or anything of that nature and they look pretty decent leading up to the show and then all of a sudden they just look extremely flat, stringy, almost uh, anorexic to say the least. Uh, this is a, that's a common reason why and it's because they, they think that you know high rep low weight is going to get them there when in actuality they're actually hindering their progress and in turn um, they're, they're not hanging on to as much muscle and or gaining any muscle in the meantime. Now for review guys what we want to make sure we're doing besides the compound movements is uh, keeping track of your total overall volume and what I do for my clients is I have them track all their uh, total volume on an application so that way they can try and go in and do a little bit better with whether it's one more set rep uh, or a little bit higher weight next time they step into the gym and that guys is key to gaining muscle while you are losing fat uh, if you are looking for online training uh, a program specifically designed for your needs uh, please feel free to click the link down below in the description um, and feel free to contact me if you have any questions and I will see you guys on the next video make sure to, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later I'm gonna feel my vibe right now, I'm feeling myself.